Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Lipkowitz. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Capital Properties in Bethesda, Maryland. I specialize in both residential and equestrian properties. And today I wanna make a quick video about whether or not you should buy a horse farm, particularly if you are a lifelong boarder. Many of us lifelong boarders, myself included, have thought about buying their own farm or farmette at some point in time. Now, for some people, this is an amazing decision. They don't look back and they don't regret it. And for others, a few years in, they might decide it's really not for them and they'd rather go back to boarding. So there are really two things you need to keep in mind before you make the decision to buy a farm. And firstly, you need to decide if you are okay with the amount of labor that goes into owning a farm. Um, it is so much work. And for those of us who have been lifelong boarders and for those of you who have never worked on a farm, I think it doesn't necessarily sink in just how much goes into maintaining a horse farm. You know, beyond just the care of the animals, that's a ton of work in and of itself. Um, but you know, if you've owned a home before, you might have some idea. Uh, you know, just how long that to-do list becomes. And now you've got outbuildings, you've got fencing, you've got pastures, and then you have the daily task of taking care of your animals. And it is an incredible amount of work. So you either have to be willing to put in that labor yourself or pay for it. Um, and if you've got a day job, which plenty of farmette owners have a day job, and they come home, they take care of their horses, and they're perfectly happy, but it is not for everyone. So you just need to make that decision and try and get a sense of how much work it's gonna be based on the properties that you're looking at, and really be honest with yourself about how much work you're willing to put in. The second question is whether or not you can afford it. Now this seems kind of obvious. Can you afford to buy a farm? Well. You know, I encourage farm buyers and any buyer really to go and talk to a number of different lenders. Um, you know, local lenders, lenders who work with USDA loans, just to get an idea of what your finances look like and what programs they offer. And, you know, I think a lot of buyers are often surprised by how much buying power they have, uh, and some are not. Um, but. It's really important not to blow your savings because there's a ton of maintenance that goes into owning a farm. And so that brings me to the next part of this section, which is, can you afford it? Can you afford the maintenance? Um, you know, it's never ending. You have to buy equipment. You have to be constantly repairing things. And it's just so much work and so much money. Farms are really honestly kind of a money pit. So, you know, you have to be okay with that and understand that and be prepared for it. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Sarah Lipkowitz. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Capital Properties in Bethesda, Maryland. I specialize in both residential and equestrian properties, and I will be expanding my business into Virginia soon. So stay tuned.